Yo crew, I'm Eamon. I'm a filmmaker and rower from Philadelphia. <laughs> and I'm Chet. Good timing. <laughs> really good timing. Yeah, I didn't know my cue. <laughs> We're going with it. All right. We started rowing together in high school, uh, freshman year. What is it? It's like 10 years ago now. I've been sure. rowing now for like 12 years. No, it was 2011. That was our first time? Yeah, spring 2011. <laughs> four years of high school, four years of college, and I'm going in my third year out of college. Yeah, so we're past, we've finished year 10. Right. Yeah, all right. I guess he's right. I, <laughs> I am right. right. I'm usually right, about, usually these right about these things. He was actually in my first daily vlog uh, back in like the beginning of 2019. It's like he, him and me and uh, Ergs side by side and then I flew off to Ireland. We've dubbed it the Glavin HPG. It's got this whole setup in the basement. Erging by yourself always sucks. So it's nice to have someone to do it with. So short. Even if it is Eamon. Get shorter. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I thought it was in the same place. <laughs> We're well, on the same place. <laughs> yeah, look. Look at the line. Yeah. We have like a what monitor that? that we can like look at. Here? You <laughs> were up there. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, uh, what else? This or? No, we're good. We're going with it. You have anything to say to the fans? Well, I was just going to ask you, I mean, spring season here in Philadelphia, which means that you've been going to a lot of rowing events. Is it weird? I mean, you mentioned our, the start of our rowing careers together when we were we lads and now you're coaching for the same team that we rode against, rode with, I should say. How's that been? It's been a lot of fun. It, it's really weird because we started rowing out of Boathouse Row in Undine, but now all the boathouses that we row out of are like up in Conshohocken, so they're it's a so totally nice. different place of water. Yeah, they're so nice. And it, yeah, they're nice, but the water's so much more narrow, so you can't get as many boats wide, and there's a lot more launches, so it's a lot of wake. Is so it trafficked like, up there? It's pretty trafficked at like 3.30 to 4.30 when like White Marsh yeah, launches their fair. flotilla. I guess that's fair. Now we were out on the water down by Boathouse Row earlier today and there was just, I mean, gosh, all of the college crews are out there. But it's so much wider and you guys can like fair. be all separate. This one, it's like everyone's, everyone that's young stays in the same spot. Mm -hmm. That's fair. So anyway, uh, a note to the viewers here. I have so many questions. Like, how did you get started watching YouTube videos? And <laughs> Why are you watching YouTube videos now? Why are you um, watching me? Why do you watch Eamon for all, like, he, he's been telling me all this hilarious crap. I, I do some context here. I live under a rock. I know nothing about anything. Eamon was telling me all about the YouTube world and things you can watch and all the money you can make and or the money you don't make, more likely. And um, it blew my mind that there are like millions of people that use YouTube to watch things. Like, what do you watch? He literally lives under a rock. What? It, it's, and why it's... do you watch it for so long? I don't understand. He doesn't You're, understand any of it. I, I think this world is becoming illiterate. People are forgetting how to read and that's Oh, why shut I, up. They watch by they watch. Shut videos. up. Boo. <laughs> Your take is so cold. <laughs> no, anyway, <laughs> this past weekend, the reason I'm making this video is not actually just a banter. It's because I was out at the Kerr Cup with Temple. I got a chance to go out on a Temple launch and film some racing. And so I wanted to make like a cool cinematic edit. And so I brought him in to like make this talking head start. It's also very weird for him because we have like a light, we have a monitor to the side, and I'm we're talking to a camera. He doesn't know what to do. I'm overwhelmed. He also doesn't realize that he's talking to, what is it, like 2.5K people now. That's a huge number. Oh. Hopefully growing. Oh, okay. Keep yeah. subscribing. Like, okay. subscribe, comment. Down Remember, down. I knew you when you had 10. <laughs> no, you didn't. I was in Europe when I had 10. <laughs> ha, you're uh. wrong again. Oh, where are all the medals we won? During uh, our years, we're up there. You'll find like the slack drop. You'll find the Stotesbury gold on there, our senior year. <laughs> Definitely um, not third city, place. City gold. City gold. <laughs> yeah. I would pull off my lightweight four poster, but oh, it's there we are nicely right placed. There. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll send it. Ready? Cut. And we're back. Look yeah, you got to see it. Gosh. Movie magic. You know what's funny though? It's like rowing is this whole vibe. I don't know all of you out there in YouTube land, if any of you are rowers, I would assume you are. But there's, this, but there's this one thing I always think about is just like the relationships that you build with your boatmates. And over the years, it's like they come and go. You, I mean, I, I'm still rowing competitively and so I still have new boatmates. But most people, you know, they get to a point where they don't have any more boatmates. But just looking at that poster over there, it makes you think like, holy crap, where the heck are those guys now? Like I haven't seen Berkeley Melvin in seven years, maybe more. Like, where is my coxswain? I'm surprised, to be honest. I'm surprised I've made it this far in life without my coxswain. Would you Honestly, agree? Like Especially you, that one? Yeah. I've literally become your coxswain in life. That's fair. I told you how you need to go to the Olympics and what you need to do. And you've yeah. started doing it, which is great. Well, Dude is fast. We're on the path. He's pretty quick. I don't know about that. 
Hopefully, you know, going to Worlds in some boat. We're figuring that out. Well, we'll you got see. some cool text messages today. Well, we'll that see. a little teaser for the future. A little teaser Don't for the tell future. Them. It's a teaser. <laughs> I haven't told him anything. Uh, How weird do you feel right now talking to a camera, but then knowing that this is gonna get edited into like a post production, like posted to YouTube, a couple thousand people watch it maybe. <laughs> to be honest, I'm I know that you'll be able to like do your magic on this and you'll make whatever you it'll be good. So like I could do whatever I want right now with some assurance that the odds of it ending up in YouTube land are like slim to none. Like I could make a whole bunch of weird faces like <laughs> You know, you probably won't use any of those. Or you'll embarrass me and use one of them. Oh, 100%. Them. <laughs> it's like guaranteed. What did you want to talk about in this video? Oh, it was the... I like wrote things down and we've gone off track pretty quickly. Oh, it was the Kirk Cup. I filmed the, the Kirk, Kirk Cup. Cup. So I'm going to make a quick cinematic edit. Ready? Here you go, boys. Woo! Oh, <laughs> All set. <Yeah. laughs> Don't play strange. What is that? Like, bust us. You're in a vlog. Oh my god! Hi. Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! Rowing! <laughs> Yay! Stop recording. Wait a couple seconds. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> how do you like that? <laughs> Pretty weird, right? Yeah, that's what I hate. Yeah, that. but but actually, like, what well, you'll have just watched. I hope you enjoyed it. It was pretty fun being out there. The connection I got was like Fergal is a temple coach, but he knows some of the guys in Ireland that I used to row with, and so like one thing led to another. He's like, oh yeah, it'd be grand if he went out on a launch. I'm like, hell yeah. 
And then like two days ago, he like messaged me like, oh, we could get you on the launch now oh, for the Kirk Cup. So I like was following like the men's varsity eights, the women's varsity eights. I got their starts in slow motion. They look sweet. I'll have to show you after. He hasn't actually seen it yet. I haven't edited it yet. But actually I can show starts. Still working on the NBC stuff. I was just gonna say, if it's not Olympic related, you could probably show us. Maybe you should just stop filming Olympic related stuff so we can actually see some more cool footage. I'm working on it. Cause maybe one day I could actually show you some Olympic stuff. That's true. So we're hoping. So you still want to capture the Olympic stuff. Oh yeah, I want to be able to use it. I've been capturing it, so in the future, if I ever get permission, I can use it. I have, I can't post it, but I have it. You know what would be cool? You know what would be cool? You should like collect a whole bunch of footage of people not rowing well, and then compile it into a short clip of like people catching crab, ejector crabs. Is this like footage I've taken, or yeah, just yeah, in yeah. general? Have you seen a lot of that? I mean, I've been in a crash. There's my famous pair crash here. I'm just playing, playing with this pair crash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that was <laughs> really embarrassing for us, but you know, we made a mistake and we, they were fine, everything's fine, but mm, don't good. do that, don't do that. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't don't crash a pair into a... a I'm trying pair. to think, I guess you have to have that footage to be able to show it. Yeah. And you have to be able to watch it. And I have to be able to access it. I have like yeah. 10 hard drives over there. Yeah. You ever, you raced in the Kirk Cup, right? No, we you never, never did. Raced? Yeah. Did we you? did, I did. Yeah. You rode for Lehigh. Lehigh, go Mountain Hawks. Ka -ka! That's not actually what Lehigh people do. <laughs> we did, we did Kirk Cup a couple of times. I got tired of giving away tank tops to Winning crews. Well, You're basically paying well, for the cotton It's true, but it's, you know, each one's like ten bucks. You have to give away one for every single seat in the boat. All of a sudden, that's like a two hundred fifty dollar weekend. That's fair. Just in tank tops. Shout out to Justin Best. Actually, he uh, we rode together at Vesper in 2017, <laughs> and he wore his Lehigh tank top to practice. Oh, there day. you go. And I went to go open the door one morning because he rang the doorbell, and. Uh, I saw the Lehigh tank and I'm like, who from Lehigh is rowing here? And I open it up and it's Justin Best and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I, no, gave I, I gave that to him. I gave that to him. That's great, that's a great feeling. He messaged me like a month ago and he was like, hey, I found this. It turns out I beat him in the mainline slide in, tw <laughs> in like 2013. Sick. <laughs> I beat like a future Olympian, let's go. <laughs> or working on the future Olympian. He's he's in the US men's sweep camp right now. He's like, I'm never gonna live this down, am I? I'm like, hell no, buddy. <laughs> so I've got that for me, which is nice. Back when I was 140 pounds, soaking wet. <laughs> it was the first time I broke seven. <laughs> He was lightweight somehow. <laughs> I'm surprised oh, you knew who Justin Best was back then. I didn't. Oh, he knew who you were. He does now. Yeah. Not oh. because I wrote well, it's because I a hashtag rowing influencer. Hashtag. So anyway, Kirk Cup was this past weekend, but also Manny Flicks. Oh yeah, yeah. Manny Our uh, my novices had some of their first races, so I felt like a proud dad going like watching them go down the course. It was yeah. a lot of fun. If you have any footage of them, now would be a, a perfect time to show. I I actually don't. We had a PSRA live stream. Oh, that's so I, I was really hoping to set you up well there with that. I know. <laughs> I've got a bunch of video ideas that I want to do, like why you suck at rowing. And why I suck at rowing? Yeah, you specifically. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just a straight analysis of your technique. <laughs> what not to do. No, it's things like, you know, like oh, people get really into and invested, but then they don't like focus on their strength. And then there's other things like, oh, people are always rowing in basketball shorts when they should have unis. Oh my like, gosh. It's things like that. Don't Just do that. No free speed. <laughs> don't don't wear basketball there's, shorts. There's chances you could have too much free speed. <laughs> but you should. Who you should talk to actually about that is Jasper Lou. Here's a pretty fi picture of his face, <laughs> and because uh, he's he's actually designing a website right now to uh, help people who are interested in learning more about rowing on the high school level, the collegiate level, and the elite level. Um, and he's putting together this great website from all of his experience, so you should definitely reach out to him. Jasper but, is the guy who's over in Lucerne right now, the men's lightweight double trying to qualify. He right, won right. in the he's, race that he was he's in. He's this guy he's, right here. Yeah, so in this... See him rolling right? Sorry, thank you, right yeah. there. That's him. <laughs> That's him. Anyway, yeah, so that when you, when you do uh, go to put together some of that information, you should totally interview him at some point. That'd be sweet. I don't know how you do that though. Well, hopefully I actually get to Lucerne. That's true. That would be sweet. That would be really cool. I found out when I was at Olympic Trials 2 what the actual process of me getting there would look like. Obviously I would need flights to get there, but I would need a test 72 hours before takeoff, within 72 hours, and within 72 hours of landing. So that's Lucerne, Switzerland's like requirements for yeah. being over there. Cool. All right, we're gonna probably wrap up here. Just uh, we just finished like lifting, so he probably wants to go home and eat. I need to eat something. Is that the end? Let's let's do an official wrap up. All right. Well, we can't forget about Glavin head sweats, forty percent off. <laughs> Did you actually just? <laughs> And we can't forget about uh, 776. Yeah, where, where's, my, where's my stuff? I have so much uh, of it, I can't find it. What is that, it. is that 40% off? Yeah, there we go, we got, we got some head sweats. Um, and then right here is a link 
to... We got, we got from 776. Where is it? Here. I don't know Boom. what this link would be for. You can uh, put it's like, like link. It's like Lavin 30. It's, it's all down below. Well, we already had a link for the head sweats. We already had a link for the 776. Oh, um... Here's a link want, to... If you want oh, to, to his Patreon yeah, page. Yeah, that one. His Patreon page. Sorry, I also keep getting distracted when I look at the TV. Yeah, yeah. And not yeah. the camera, so... <laughs> do all those things. Like, subscribe, um... Give us a wave. You can, uh... Yeah, see, that's what we're looking at. We're looking at you guys here, but we have this. I get so we distracted. See. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like, subscribe, tell your mom. Tell your friends. Send us to your friends so that they can see interesting content but about rowing. Definitely rowing. tell your mom. Definitely tell your mom. Moms love rowers. Amen. Moms love me. Moms love Amen. Moms love Amen. That's weird. That's super weird. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from my mom. <laughs> Hey, you kicked the camera. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> All right, you go home. Get out of here. All right. Thanks for watching. See you.